talking again with Father Leo Padalinghug, who is doing more than feeding the homeless and helping those who had once been incarcerated. As if his plate is not full enough, he is also directing a series of Lenten retreats for the faithful. And Father Leo is here again to tell us more about his plans for Lent and also some advice for the faithful. Welcome back, Father Leo. Okay, let's talk about your Lenten message. Why did you decide to focus on the wise men in the desert? Well, we have a three-part retreat, and what we wanted to do is talk about the epiphanies of Jesus Christ, because really Lent is a time to get to know who Jesus is, and there are three key epiphanic moments in the scriptures, and I teamed up with two other priests, and we basically do a a, a presentation, and then we go into a deep dish discussion. So for me, I had the epiphanies simply because I wanted to let people know that these gifts that the Magi gave are in a sense the three pillars of our Lenten experience of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And I make these connections to those three gifts. And so it's a great way to know how these three wise Magi went through the desert, as we are doing, and they encountered the Lord and they gave their gifts to Christ. I know earlier this week you noted that soon after the transfiguration of our Lord, Jesus performed an exorcism. Tell us about that connection and what it means for the faithful today. You see, that is one of those other epiphanic moments where we hear a revelation that this Jesus is more than just a great guy. He is God. He is the Son of Man. And from that mountaintop experience, we are told to listen to him. And if you were to read the Luke account of the transfiguration, you'll see how when he gets down that mountain, where really the mission of Christ begins— you see how the first thing he encounters is a father with an only son who is possessed by the demon. And here's the power of Jesus. Even the demons listen to Christ. Wouldn't it be wonderful if every Catholic and every Christian would do that? Absolutely. You know, before I let you go, since you're a chef, okay, we have to ask you, do you have any favorite Latin dishes or recipes that you can share with us? And if so, where can we find them? And also, do you have any tips on fasting? I do. I have plenty of them. They're all available at the website at platinggrace.com. I give a special five-week recipe, basically one that you can do for every Friday of your family that kind of takes an international flair. My favorite, I'll admit, is the falafel because it's just so comforty, delicious, and crunchy, and it's fried. But we're, here's what I really recommend. Let's buy less, and let's go through our pantries, and let's actually cook the stuff that would be considered leftovers. So what I'm trying to do is get people to think and reflect more simply in their life. You can do the dramatic, but I think following Mother Teresa, small acts with lots of love and a lot of flavor. Yeah, I love that idea. I'm definitely going to try that for sure. Father Leo, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate your time. Good luck with the food truck. Keep us posted. Father Leo Padalinghug, founder and director of Plating Grace and host of EWTN's Savoring Our Faith. Thank you so much again. Pleasure. Thanks.